welcome back to sketch by sketch now it's been a little while since i've done a long video like this so i'm very excited to get this going today we're drawing in the last page of my elo sketchbook i know you guys already saw the short sketchbook uh, tour that i did a few days ago i just wanted to get something out there and honestly could not wait to share this with you guys um, but i am making a longer version of that and this obviously was recorded before i did that sketchbook tour um, I really do want to be able to talk about all the things in the sketchbook, the drawings and all that, so there will be a longer version. If you're excited for that, let me know down in the comments and give this video a like. Alright, as you can see, we have started with the sketch. We are going to be drawing Wonder Woman. She is my favorite character, you guys know that. Um, I draw her a lot on this channel and I thought it would be only fitting to add her in. Uh, as our last page, she's just such a great character and honestly just love to draw her so much. Um, I wanted to draw her in a little bit more of a cute pose um, than like the fierce warrior pose like I do sometimes and I thought it would be a cool idea to make her lasso part of the design. So you'll see all that come together here in a little bit. So we're just using a Prismacolor Color Race Color Pencil to sketch that all out. I really like this sketch and honestly didn't even really want to give it line art just because I thought the sketch was so cute, but it was the last page so I thought I'd go all out and do a full illustration. I would like to quickly apologize for the videos that have been coming out lately. They've been a little bit boring and short and you guys haven't heard me talking a lot. I've just been a little bit busy. Um, a lot going on right now and um, I really want to get back to posting art and honestly I just haven't really felt like drawing lately I don't really know why um, even though I've had so much time to do stuff like that I just haven't really felt like it but I'm getting back into it and hopefully you guys can just understand that and I would like to just say I'm sorry and hopefully we can get back on a normal posting schedule um, before it gets crazy again and I gotta go back to school and won't have time to post then but um, hopefully we can just get everything back to normal and I can be posting my videos. All right, so it looks like sketch is done. Let's move on to the next part. Liner, you guys know this is my least favorite part. Um, it's just so boring, I think. It's just tracing over what you already drew and drawing and creating is my favorite part of even doing art. And this just seems a little bit lackluster to me. Um, let me know down in the comments if you feel the same way. Um, I know I don't really show this that much. I just kind of skip through it. Um, if you guys want to see an actual tutorial on how I do it, then let me know and I will see if I can do that. I'm using a Pigma Micron pen, if you're wondering though, in a size 3. Quick tip, if you are right-handed, um, start on the left side of your drawing and then work your way over to the right. That way you won't smudge anything with your hand. I know I'm not doing that, but I just thought I would let you guys know that you should do that and I'm just not doing it right now. <laughs> also like to say that I am doing a Q&A video to celebrate 100 subscribers and I just haven't done it yet just because I haven't got enough questions so if you guys um, want to be part of that video then please send me a question um, about art or about me and I will try to answer it in that video so um, definitely do that um, I need some more questions before we can make that video happen all right, we're moving on to markers. I thought I'd keep this somewhat simple. Um, just do mostly flat colors, and then as you can see in a little bit, we're gonna go into some colored pencils. So these are my Artify uh, dual tip markers. They have a bullet tip and a chisel tip. Um, you guys have seen me use them before. They're my favorite for sketchbooks, just because they were not that expensive, and they are pretty nice markers for um, just like 80 bucks, I think that's what I paid for them. And so uh, that was pretty good. 
I of course will always say Copic markers are my favorite, but I usually only like to use those for finished illustrations, not things in my sketchbook. They're just super expensive and I don't feel like paying for all the refills. I'm very cheap. <laughs> I think this drawing is really cute now that I'm just looking back at it. Um, I think she just turned out really expressive and I love the face and just the way it all is turning out. I think it's super cute. One thing I am preparing for here on the channel is Inktober. I know we're a while away but time flies, you guys know it, it feels like yesterday that the quarantine started and it was literally like five months ago like where does the time go but anyways I am kind of starting to collect some ideas on Pinterest and buy a few art supplies here and there or at least look at them online um, I think I'm gonna I think I decided a few days ago I'm gonna do the drawings in my sketchbook and not on separate pieces of paper just because I love my sketchbooks and it's the easiest way I can look back at all my art if you guys are going to participate, then let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to respond to you. Uh, like I always say, um, I try to respond to everyone's comments. You guys are always so nice and encouraging, and even though some of the comments are like criticizing, they're nice, and everyone's trying to still be um, really nice about it, and it really helps me um, know what you guys enjoy and what you don't want to see, and if I am helping you, and so I think it's really... Uh, good to just see everything you guys are putting. Um, keep it up. You guys are awesome. I've had a few requests lately to do a colored pencil tutorial, um, so that's going to be coming soon. I just have to do a drawing that I can film it with. Um, that's the problem. You guys request these videos and I want to do them, but I also have to actually record the video. So that's just the thing. Sometimes I forget my iPad's not charged and I just draw somewhere else and then it just doesn't all work out all the time. So I'm working on it and please be patient guys. I really want to do all your requests and I really appreciate that you're giving them to me. You just gotta give me a little bit of time. I'm going to be starting a new sketchbook really soon, so please uh, subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss that. Um, we're going to be drawing on the cover and the first page, of course, so uh, you definitely don't want to miss that. It's going to be super fun and just uh, a good video, good long video to sit down and watch and maybe draw with me. Um, so keep your eye out for that. It'll be happening really soon. I'm really excited. I have some art challenge ideas. I know I've been talking about the celebrity portraits for like three months now, but it's definitely gonna happen. I just haven't actually sat down to do them. I've just kind of been practicing a little bit. Um, so those will be coming out soon. I'll take your request for that if you would like to leave one for me. Um, and maybe I'll start having some polls um, in these videos or at least questions in the comments about new videos, so I'm gonna let you guys kind of start picking what I'm posting, um, so it can really be what you guys want it to be and not just what I'm picking to throw out there.
All right, now we're moving on to colored pencils. Sorry I'm not talking this whole video. I just didn't have a lot to talk about today. Um, it's kind of hard to just sit here and talk for 20 minutes about random things. So um, hopefully you guys don't mind that. I'm doing the best I can here. Uh, but we're using colored pencils. Awesome, these are Prismacolors. And um, so as you can see, we did the markers as a base and now we're kind of uh, shading and adding some texture with those pencils. Um, I think this looks really cool in the end. Um, it's a little sketchy at spots, but um, in the end it all comes together and I think that the colored pencils give it that added touch of depth and maybe like a 3D look. So it's really awesome and I think it really needed it, this drawing did, and it really helped. So I'm starting with kind of a similar color to the marker and then going in and darkening it up with the other tones. I have a really large set of Prismacolor pencils, so I really have a wide variety of things to choose from and a lot of colors. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative, um, I can recommend the Ohuhu colored pencils or even the Crayola 100 set. Um, a lot of people give uh, Crayola a hard time, but I find that their colored pencils just for doing little things in sketchbooks are actually pretty nice and they're super cheap. So if you're on a budget, then you could definitely start out with something like that and still create awesome art. This color right here has to be one of my favorites when it comes to colored pencils. Um, it's like a rose beige color and it just adds like an awesome like almost purple tone to the skin which I think makes it look really lifelike and even though this isn't a realistic drawing I think it gives it just what it needs and I just love that color so much. Because we're drawing Wonder Woman uh, maybe let me know down in the comments this will be something for you guys to comment on. Um, which Wonder Woman is your favorite? Um, we got Linda Carter and then Gal Gadot. Um, she is awesome. She has to be my favorite just because I didn't really watch the other Wonder Woman. I've just seen like pictures because it's like pretty old. Um, but I think my mom is definitely a fan of her and I know a lot of other people are. Um, but I just love the new Wonder Woman and her costume is just awesome. And I just really love her uh, so much as an actress. I think she's super sweet and nice. And um, I love that she did all her own training for the movie and all that stuff. So super cool. Uh, let me know which one's your favorite down below though. Or if you have another superhero that you like more than Wonder Woman. I don't know who that would be. But if you do, then let me know that as well. I'm always curious to know what you guys think. And who knows maybe if you leave a superhero that I also enjoy um, we'll make a video on that so just leave all that down below and we'll see what we can do I think you can get great depth with clothing with colored pencils I think it's like really good as you can see here how I did her armor I think it added a lot of texture I know I keep using that word but it's all I can think of uh, to use it added a lot of texture um, to the drawing and uh, made the skin and the costume look really neat.
a tip for drawing dark hair. Um, go ahead and add in your shadows and stuff like that and your base color, but then go in with a dark colored pencil and add in some lines for strokes of hair. And then go in with a really light, almost white color. And uh, as you can see, I just added a few strands and it makes it look really awesome and like really full and like actual pieces of hair and not just one solid color. So there's a tip for you. All right, let's finish this drawing up. Let's get some acrylic paint and we're going to color that lasso. Um, any marker is not gonna go over the color pencil. So um, we're just gonna have to use something thick and opaque like paint so it shows up. As you can see, like I'm doing there, I have to do multiple layers, but after I build it up, it's gonna look really awesome and look just like her glowing lasso. Alright guys, here's the finished drawing. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give this video a like. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys!